I'm gonna just cuddle Honey. right up to you. Just get right Do up it. on your. Do it. Okay, so goals is tits, ass, pussy. Yeah. Maybe. I don't. Sexy, just sexy, and then show. And over here, you spin the wheel of torture, and you get <laughs> strip tease, smoke break, bondage, or cuff hands, squirt with a. Is that a heart? I or is it? <laughs> I don't know. Call a fan. Call a fan. Ball, Ball gag. gag. Anal, Anal something. Breach. Maybe. Halo breach. And then uh, you've got a big black dildo, a littler blue dildo. And then anal beads right next yeah. to the tissue and the and nail polish and some wadded up tissues. Well, all right then. Hey, welcome to Drunk and Angry. Hey, Hello, Drunk and Angry. Hey, Drunk and Angry. I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Liz. <laughs> Hello, I'm Drunk and Angry. Sunday, Sunday, yes. Sunday, 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 Sunday. Be Jesus there. Christ, we're still 15. We're still only on day 15. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> I had to drink my drink. You still have mine up there. Yes, I kept it up for reference. Ugh. This is the first game I played on this file. This is your game. Mm. This is the one we started playing on this. Mm -hmm. This is one that I let Alexa play for a little while. How'd they do? Uh, they just, they stopped at day three. Oh. <laughs> and just haven't done it since. This, and this is my highest score. I don't know, I, I always put up my highest score, leave up my highest score, my first score and my highest score for um, the normal mode and the rock hard mode. So this was my highest score for normal mode, and this was my highest score for rock hard mode. Okay. So... Uh, ow. Jesus. Ow. Don't hurt okay. yourself. Don't Actually, hurt yourself. Before Burping. we do that, I gotta do this thing. How do I, I want to do this? Um, okay, whatever. Continue. I'll just continue it for now. I gotta do the sinking thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> That's my sinking now. I mean, that um, works. Okay. Okay, does anybody need a ball yag? Mm. Uh, Looks oh. like everybody's pretty loaded up. Oh, everyone's got such cute little outfits. Yes. Oh my god. My girls are adorable. You're welcome. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everybody got all the things? Yes, okay. God, I'm really bad at starting over from the middle. <laughs> um, let's just buy all of these. Why not? Yeah, cake farting, you know. Nope. <laughs> you said buy them all. Not that. That's your favorite one to buy. So you better go get it, right? Yeah. No, I'm just no. Fuck, needs fuck no. What do you want to do? Okay. What so do you want to do, Chris? Nikki, what do you want? You want anal or water sports? What do you want to give Nikki to do? Which one? Okay. Um. Anal or water sports? Uh, oh, anal. Oh, anal. Yeah. There you go. I'm more okay with that. Now also water sports. <laughs> okay. Well, this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. This uh, is fine. Hooray. <laughs> I just now realized that the spa is a leaf. Mm, the relaxing leaf. <laughs> the relaxing leaf. That's what That's we call it. True. Why is it a leaf? Because leaves are relaxing. I don't fucking know. All of my girls. Whoa. Okay. Oh, yeah. I changed all of their outfits because I got all of their outfits. Bazinga zangas. Bazinga zangas. Oh, my really God. I love hers. <laughs> Just suspenders. Yes. Mm. Make some Skeksis <laughs> noises. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate the girls mm -hmm. for their inner beauty, mostly, right? Yeah. Belly is probably my favorite still. I do. Belly's really cute. I need a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, who is the girl I really else? like? Because she's like a mother who's like, yeah, I'm gonna do all this and raise my child. Her. No, not no. her. Oh, uh... She was uh, uh, Latina. No, okay, not Brooke. She's one of the first girls you can get. Where is she? There she is. Yeah! I'll let you change her outfit later. Okay, because she was, I think she was my favorite, though, actually, with the begin at the beginning, because I'm like, wow, what a cool girl. She's doing all this and raising her child. She's such a great mom. She Look is. at my tits. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, wait, what do you need? Jeez, I'm so bad at this. God, you suck. You only Shut did really, up. really good at last couple times you played. Shut up. That's all. 
Shut up. Fucking heathen. Wait. <laughs> Over here. It's okay. Look at the leaf. It's very relaxed. Look at the leaf. Look at the leaf. Leaf. I gotta relax. I gotta relax. Look at the leaf. Oh, leaves are leaves. Re- oh. Oh, leaves are relaxing. Mm, rub leaves Every all time. over Thank your you. body. That's what I needed. Just a leaf. Good leaf rubbing all over. Yep. Your, mm, leaf relax. rubbing. That's what you do at spas, right? <laughs> <laughs> leaves all over people. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's it. Okay, furry or anal? Furry. Right. Let's go to a spa and just rub leaves on each other. Oh. But not like anything that's supposedly like homeopathic or anything. Yeah. Let's go get some like dry oak leaves <laughs> off the ground. <laughs> and pine needles. <laughs> yeah, pine needles because we're smell. in Georgia. That's where, yeah. I'll have Lisa. I just have pine needles. I just brought. I brought. Yard. Don't worry. I brought my own. What are, What are you doing? I'm just. I'm just gonna use these pine needles. I'm gonna undress to as comfort my my comfort limits, <laughs> and then I will rub the leaves and pine needles all over my body <laughs> to your comfort limits. Like Ouch. you're almost uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Like, I don't like being this naked, but I will be for the sake of comedy. I mean, I would. <laughs> Just saying. I understand. I'll get naked for comedy. Prance around and rub leaves on me. <laughs> Do it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Would you? I don't know. It depends on, like, what... It depends on where this would be... Sh- like, is it live? Am I showing it somewhere? Am I recording it? Am I just doing it to make other people around me uncomfortable? I think like, the comfortable one is probably my, my bet is probably my favorite. Um, that's one thing that I liked about um, being in art school was that like I at the end I realized that I could just use the fact that um, people just literally had to just watch what I was doing. They weren't allowed to not watch my projects <laughs> to just do really like uncomfortable things. I did one video as my final video was a seven minute long video of me staring at the camera. It's actually on my YouTube channel. I've if seen anybody that. wants to watch it, literally seven minutes long of me staring at the camera. I don't do anything else. I just stare at the camera. I love it. <laughs> so that's a fun one. Tell me about your classmates when you were in art art, art school. Art school. Yeah. Um, Because it's pretty school. Cool. It's pretty school. It's good school. Anyway. Um, Shitty joke. There were a couple of people who I feel like took photography. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to sound too, like, judgmental. But. Play your judgery do. I guess, okay. Maybe, I think it was before you got into the advanced classes. Like, people in lower level photography classes basically took them because they think photography is very easy. Mm. And, like, it can be very easy if you are, like, aware of what you're doing. What am I trying to do over here? Um, like, it can be easy if all you're trying to do is, like, take a pretty picture. But going to an actual, like, art school, um, you have to use, uh... You have to be very conscious of what you're taking pictures of and what it will be interpreted as, whether or not it's what you want it to say. You have Hmm. to have a concept. Um, There are a lot of people who rebel against the idea of a concept, though. And it took me a really long time. It took me having... um, I had to have, like, four different teachers before I finally realized that, like, when they say concept, they don't mean, like, I'm making this political statement and, um... This leaf stands for, uh, I don't know, relaxation or something. (laughs) Like, there's no, like, sitting there and trying to point out every single symbol. The concept can just be, like, I took pictures of girls wearing lots of makeup, but just eating their messiest, junkiest favorite food. I love that. Which is something that I did. Yeah, I don't really Uh, look at those. I was just like, that's (laughs) the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And it, like, it means something, but, like, when you first come up with it, it doesn't necessarily have to mean anything. Uh, you kind of figure out, you make something, and then you figure out what it meant. And there were just a lot of people who couldn't, or a couple of people who couldn't get their head around it. And it took me a really long time to get my head around that idea as well. To be like, oh, I can just make something and then figure it out. Cool. I'll do that. Super. Uh, 
And then, and then there's the people, and this is only coming from the standpoint of a photo major. It's actually, like, a big difference between each, uh, concentration. Because, hmm. like, ceramics people are making things that are useful, mm -hmm. and, um... In general, some of them make very conceptual work, but in general, they're making things that are useful as well as, like, they're building it with their hands, and it's very, um, it's kind of very visceral in general to do ceramics. And so it's a totally different reaction than, like, me, who spent the last semester literally only taking pictures with my cell phone or taking pictures off of line and turning them into something else. Well, maybe that wasn't my last semester. That was actually my summer semester I did that. Um, and there was not much creation to it besides the concept. And that was kind of the point um, to push the idea of photography as a medium. That's a totally different story. But so you get like in the photo, because you have to come up with things like that for your professor to enjoy it, which, by the way, that was, like, my main professor. That was his favorite semester that I ever took because I was just doing random crap, and he loved it. <laughs> um, but when it comes to, like... So a lot of the girls were... Girls? It was almost all girls in my class. I said girls because of this... But it was almost all girls in my class. I graduated with one dude in the major. Um, but it's... Uh, uh, words, 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 words. So, like, most of them are very, like, what you think of when you think of an artist. Like, kind of pretentious and over the top. My professor was, too. Um, but... There was, like, one girl in particular who I absolutely loved her. She's, like, a joy to be around. But everything that she did, every time she made an artist statement, it was just this, like, art-speak mumbo-jumbo that meant nothing to anyone in the class except for her uh. and possibly my professor. Or at least he acted like he understood it. Oh, <laughs> and no. it was just, it was kind of funny. Um, like I said, I really love her. And she makes, like, some really beautiful stuff. But instead of just, like, you s there's a there's a grandmother test when writing artist statements. If your grandmother couldn't understand it, then you need to go and rewrite it. I like that idea. Yeah. Though. That's a really cool idea. Yeah. Um, because if, like, if somebody who is not versed in art history, like, you know, maybe you can throw something in there that it would make more sense to people who know art history and know, like, the medium... But if somebody who doesn't know art history can't just look at it and still kind of understand what you're going for, then there's no reason in what you're doing. Like, you're just making something to kind of, like, stroke your own ego. Hmm. Um, and not to say that that's what she was doing, but she couldn't, like, she was just never able to make simple artist statements. Oh. And then there were the people who, like, refused to make artist statements. Actually, one girl who graduated with me. I also loved her. I loved everybody that I graduated with. <laughs> love everybody that I've been going to school with. I had, like, I had a beef with, like, one person in my classes, and she is a ceramics major now. Um, oh. Oh, she was, um, this one girl. Never, in the entire time that we were in classes together, and we took all of our classes together, we graduated on time, she never got the idea of a concept and um, writing an artist statement. So her last semester, our last semester, her final project, what she literally was like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't do anything to make these. I take pictures all the time. And so I uh, took, I, I numbered all of the photos on my memory card and I put in a random number generator to give me 10 pictures out and these are the pictures it picked and like <laughs> what's crazy is that it was like the coolest concept that she did and it was all trying to avoid making a concept huh and it was just really interesting so that's what I mean by like a concept doesn't have to be some big lofty ideal it can just be something like you know, I'm taking these pictures anyway. And then they looked like they went together. It was really interesting. Cool. I don't know. Okay, I monopolized this episode, and we're done now with Art this. Art talk. Art talk. 
with Chris. I'm pretentious. Woo! Pause Pret the game. Pretentious Chris. Pretentious Chris. God, that was really bad. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Chris is now sapping their fingers and like do little I'm, pow pow gun things. I'm finger the gunning. Snowball. It's finger. The finger snowball. banging. I'm finger banging, banging our blue snowball. It's our microphone. Black. Yeah, but it's it's blue. Oh. Fran. Oh, that's right. Whatever. Don't judge me, judge. I'm not judging you. Judgery do. Judgery do. Okay, I'm gonna go get more alcohol. Cool. You do that. I still. Well, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Liz, would you like me to get you more alcohol, too, after you finish that? Please. Thank you. 